A few years ago, I built a box joint jig designed by Matthias Wendell. It's a really good design, and the great part about it is it should be really easy to attach the stepper motor and turn it into a CNC box joint jig. So one of the first things that I need to do is basically write the Python code and do some initial testing. So I drew up this little stepper motor test jig, or whatever you want to call it, in Google SketchUp and printed out the templates and went out to the garage and built it. So I tried to design this to be as simple as possible. I didn't want to spend a, a whole lot of time building it. Uh, essentially it's just a couple of pieces of board with dados cut in it and uh, a mount for the motor. And that's the little coupling that I'm using to go from the 3 8 rod to the 6.25 millimeter shaft on the motor. Uh, the 3 8 rod just rides in a bearing that's in that very back block and that's pretty much all there is to the little test jig. So after burning up two of these little motor controllers that were only good for a couple of amps, I ended up having to go online and look around and build my own. I found a suitable schematic over at mycontraption.com. It was uh, basically a dual H bridge and it was good for 10 amps. So I ended up redrawing it on Eagle Design so I could fit everything onto some little uh, PCB boards that I had on hand. Once I had it all laid out and the jumper wires in place I was able to solder everything together and get back on track with the CNC box joint jig. It should go somewhere around 0.25 I'm close to it. Yeah, 0.25 one. So then the second one would be going the Moving for the tooth and then setting the blade up for the next cut. So it should have moved, should be at about 0 0.750. See where we're at now. Pretty close. A couple thousandths off, and depending on how I have this thing set in here, I think it's pretty much right on the money. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm just about ready to move from here to the actual, actual box joint jig. So I'm in the garage and uh, I've got it hooked up somewhat in a in a uh, prototype state. Just got jumper wires going to the motor, and the motor's hooked into the box joint jig. So I've done one test cut so far, and it's really tight. So I went and modified the code and added a option to leave some slack. So now I'm going to cut the next test joint. So I'm using my phone to SSH into the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to run my program. First thing it does is ask you how thick your blade is. It needs that. It needs to know that to calculate uh, how many steps the motor has to move and, and whatnot. So here I enter in .112 and next it asks you how large are your slots and I'm going to go with .25 and I added the glue feature because the first one joint that I made was too tight and uh, I'm entering in 0 0.015 here however that was still a little tight it's probably better to do like a 0 0.03 or so and then you have this section that asks if you uh, I don't know, want to leave the finger or cut the slot I really didn't know what to call it so finger and slot sounded good to me so at this point I need to adjust the blade so these small buttons will increment and set. When the cut is over, I'll hit the reset button. And it should bring it back to start. So at this point, I think I got it about where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and start boxing up all the little components and getting rid of all the little jumper wires and whatnot. And uh, I'll catch you on the next YouTube video.